As it turns out, four out of every 10 Americans have no idea what the credit score is. Zero idea. Great for you guys. It's not like you need it for anything. I mean, to buy a house, get a loan, buy a car. I mean, you don't need it at all. Unless you're trying to have a life, get it together. Four out of 10? Credit is like your word to banks. And the better your credit score is, the better your word is. When a bank sees you and, and they say your credit score is bad, that means your word is bad. That means they, somebody can't trust your word. They can't trust that you're gonna pay on time, that you're gonna be on time, that you're gonna do what you told them that you were gonna do. So by the end of my college career, I'd taken out $10,000 in loans, you know, just for, for just normal living expenses, gas, food. So once I got out of college, I you know, got drafted. I knew at this point how poor credit was. But as I called around to, to my institution to track down the loans, I couldn't find them. Nobody could direct me to where I could go to pay my loans back. So the loans defaulted and they went into collections. That's the worst thing that could happen. That's me giving my word and not standing by. And once these people started to come after me, I got to the point where I was more frustrated because I wanted to pay it off. Like, I gave them, I had the money, so I paid them the $10,000 in full. I was a man of my word, I just, it was a miscommunication. They didn't take it that way. It was a derogatory mark on my credit, which brought my credit score down to 550, which is not good. It's like getting a D, in, a C minus D in class. So long story short, I've, I've worked hard, I've taken credit cards, I've paid off my homes, I've paid off my cars. I've gotten a lot of positives now, and now my credit score is 780, but don't be discouraged by having a bad credit score or just derogatory mark. It's just a bump in the road. Everybody makes mistakes. The world understands that. People make mistakes. You're a person, we're human. Come on now, we're not mistake proof. If we were, we'd be robots or something like that. I'm not a robot. At least I don't think I am. Focus up. This is how you build your credit. All right, guys, here's how you do what Richard's talking about. Cards aren't bad if you use them responsibly. Do your research on offers and promotions to get the best deal. Look, if you're struggling to get approved, they're secured cards that require a deposit. They're available to anyone. Now, step two. Now, you gotta use that card if you're going to bulk up your score. And the safest way to do that is picking one regular expense, streaming channel, music app, or your tanning parlor subscription. Look, you set the card to auto pay for the full amount each month, you sit back, you want your credit rise. All right, step three. Once you got that first card working for you, there are other steps to make your score swell faster. All right, you ask a kind relative with good credit to list you on one of their accounts. If you're paying rent, you can submit records of those payments to a credit bureau. And, assuming you're being responsible, not living like a rock star on that first card, you can get more cards to raise your available credit. Boom, now we're talking. Don't let the banks talk all that noise about you. Get your credit right. Enough said. You're adulting now. Adult.